Gary Briggs, British champion, two times over. If you want to come up, bring your belts, Gary. Okay, they're fighting for the Intercontinental title. Okay, and now we've got uh, Tyro Mia fighting for the British title. Give him a round of applause. And Carl Filmer from the Cobras. He's fighting with against Tyrone, five twos. Gary and Dursan will be fighting ten twos. I want to come up and sit down. This is Mr. Mayo, the head of the WKO, World Kickboxing Organisation. Briggs, please, fighting at the Cobra Gym from Norwich, who's fighting for the Intercontinental Super World Weight title. It's ten times two minute rounds. Sixty-nine kilos. Okay, Dursan Durman from Lille in France. Dead on the button, 70 kilos. Okay. Next up, Tyrone Mia. From <laughs> that's heavy, that's heavy. <laughs> 57 kilos. <laughs> Carl Filmer, Kingsland Cobras. Fifty-eight kilos, good. First of all, express our appreciation of the World Kickboxing Organisation to Delman for promoting this intercontinental title show, um, and just say how glad we are to be here in Kings Lynn, and how pleased I am to see that um, small towns can do it just as well as the big towns. I want to express my thanks also to Ladbrokes for backing Dell in this, and let's hope that kickboxing and Ladbrokes can continue on in this sort of relationship. Um, okay, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just sort of try to ask a few questions of Dursan Durman and hope that we can get something for the TV here. Dursan, uh, how are you feeling anyway? Are you ready for this fight? Are, are, you, are you feeling uh, strong for, for this fight? Yes. In your last fight, have you been training very hard? For this since your last fight? Yes. Okay. I think yes is probably about the best of the guys. <laughs> As you can see, Dursan doesn't speak very much English and my French is even less, so I think we'll sort of do that. Gary, how are you feeling? How are you doing now? I feel great. I'm best condition I've ever been in. Yeah, I feel really mentally right for this. And I've been training really hard. Everything's been all, all well. Now, you haven't actually seen you, you haven't actually seen Durson fight before. Um, so, what kind of sort of preparation have you been doing for this fight? Well, just been preparing, just like any other fight, really. Just to, you know, obviously it's going to be a hard fight. He's, he's a top fighter. So, at the end of the day, I've been training hard and not expecting a tough fight. But whatever, whatever he fires at me, he's going to get back. So, at the end of the day, I'm expecting a tough fight. So, I never see him fight, but at the end of the day, you know, just do what we can. And have you done the um, the ten rounds before? Have you fought over that sort of number of rounds before? Yeah, I fought over it a couple of times before. No problem. The fitness is great. You know, I'm not worried about the fitness at all. You know, if it goes to ten rounds, I'm ready. Okay. But are you looking for a knockout? Well, if it comes, it comes. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I'll be trained hard for it. You know, if it, if a knockout comes, and yeah. Okay. Well, good luck to you then, Gary. I'd just like to say one thing, um, we're doing this for the first time in Kings Lynn, um, not only Kings Lynn, Free Stanglia, and we hope to make a lot more of these big shows, and we need the support, and without the support it won't ever happen again, so we're just hoping that people will support this, and we've been offered this live on Sky after this one, if this goes off well, and um, all, we, all the lads have done here, every one of them, they've trained very hard, 
they've worked hard and it's going to be an awesome show really awesome so i hope you all enjoy it and we'll get on with the rest of the interviews gary's up for this boy i tell you If we can have the next two up, um, we've got um, Toro Mia from the Natural Born Killers Gym in Lincoln with his trainer Jez Hall. And Jez Hall is one of the well-known trainers worldwide, not just in England, so give him a clap. Okay, and Carl. Okay, I'll leave this with you again. This is for a Beekman title, not a WKO, but... Phil is going to do a little bit for me here. I feel good, and I was born ready. Yeah, okay, that's great. Um, what sort of training have you been doing for this? Have you already seen this guy fight before? Well, I've seen him fight before, and he know, he know better than me. So, I don't worry about that around. So, you're raring to go, and you're, you're confident? That's how it is. Okay, great. Carl, how about you? Yeah, I've been training hard, running, swimming, boxing. Have you, been, have you been watching this guy fight before? Yeah. yeah. Do you know how, you, you think that you know how to beat him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I've got it all set in my mind, yeah. I'm ready. That's really good then, so let's hope we see a good fight. That'll be a good Jez? fight. Jez? Jez, have you got anything you'd like to say about it? No, I'm sure this particular fight's going to be a war. These boys have both watched each other fights, they've fought the same people, they've beaten the same people. Been building up now for some time. Uh, yeah, we'd, we'd like to get this on. It's going to be fun. How about you, Dan? Yeah, well, we 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 call it natural born killers over there, and we call it the Cobras over here, and I think it's going to be awesome. And uh, he's got world champions in his camp, and we've got world champions in their camp, and we're both good good friends at the end of it as trainers, and we know it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be awesome. So let's get it on. That, that's really important and it's encouraging you see kick, what kickboxing about is about is sport you know we don't want any of these sort of hot dogging type stuff that you get seen going on in boxing where they're talking about killing each other and maiming each other and that that's not what the sport's about it's not what boxing's about really it's not what kickboxing is about certainly not these are martial artists they respect each other and it's pleasing to hear that's that kind of respect coming out in this sort of an interview uh, one more thing I'd like to say um, without the Cobra, the Cobra Jim, one man that's helped me so much and I've got to thank him, I want him to come out and shake my hand. Without Eddie Tan, Cobras wouldn't exist how we are, so Eddie, can I just shake your hand? <laughs> Without this man, he would, I would not be who I am now, my club. Thank you very much, Eddie. Thank you.